Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 13 of a half yearly. And today's topic is exercise 3, page number 20. From exercise 3, we shall solve word problem number 10 and 11 as CW in our class. And there is a good news for you. There is no SW today. So my dear student, now we shall solve the problems. I hope you have this book and from this book, I written two question, question number 10 and question number 11 on the board. You must open page number 20 and read the question first in order to solving question number 10 and 11. So first question number 10, the sum of ages of a mother and her son is 60 years, okay. Mother's age is three times the age of the son. What are their ages? Okay. I repeat. The sum of the ages of a mother and son is 60 years. For mother's age is three times the age of the son. What are their ages? So, how can we solve this math? Mother age is three times of the son's age. And son says is how many times of son says? One times. Then we add total four times. Now we div uh, divide this 60 by 4 times and we get the age of son. After that we multiply it. Son says with 3 and we get the age of mother. So solve this math. Question number 10. Written here. Mother. is is three times of sons is okay then sons sons is is one times of sons is okay next we need to find out the total time so total 4 times. Next we find out the age of son. So the age of son is total is 60. So we divide this 60 by this total times 4. And we get the age of son. So in 6, 4 goes in 1 times, subtract 2, 0, 20 goes in 5 times. So, 15 years old is the age of son. Next, we find out the age of mother. So, right here, the age of mother is 15 multiplied by 3 years old then 15 3 are 45 years old okay and we must write answer mother says 45 years and sons is 15 years okay so this is question number 10 next we shall solve question number 11 in order to solve question number 11 we erase question number 10 here question number 10 is divisor is 78 the quotient is 25 and the remainder is one third of the divisor. What is the dividend? First of all, we write given that, given that divisor equal to 78, quotient equal to 
25 and remainder is one third of the divisor so this is the condition so remainder equal to one third multiplied with divisor okay one third multiplied with divisor is 78 so we divide this 78 by 3 and we get 3 twos are 6 carrying on and 18 in 18 3 goes in 6 times so remainder is 26 therefore we write remainder equal to 26 now we need to find out the dividend do you know the formula of dividend dividend equal to divisor multiply quotient plus remainder so we write so dividend equal to divisor multiply quotient plus remainder now we put the value divisor is 78 and quotient is 26 plus sorry quotient is 25 plus remainder is 26 now we do multiplication of 78 and 25 and in this section you write here 78 multiply by 25 so first up we multiply 78 by 5 5 8 are 40 carrying 4 7 5 are 35 plus 4 39 0 8 2 are 16 carrying 1 7 2 are 14 and 1 15 0 9 and 6 15 7 and 8 8 and on 9 1 so here we write 1950 plus 26 so here we add 6 7 9 and 1 so this is the answer 1976 i hope you have understood this question so my dear student this is our today's lecture Keep the practicing at home, abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.